Liberty statue upon Gellert Hill is one of the most well-known landmarks of Budapest and a dominant feature of its cityscape. It is one of the very few statues which despite erected during the communist dictatorship survived its collapse and stands still on its original spot. The 14 meters tall female figure standing atop a 26 meter pedestal holding a palm leaf symbolizes the genius of liberty holding the palm of glory. Two smaller allegoric statues also present around the base. The left one, a man holding a torch, symbolizes progress. The right one, a man fighting the dragon symbolizes the victory over the fascism. The translation of the Hungarian inscription on the pedestal is the following, to the memory of those all who sacrificed their lives for the independence, freedom, and prosperity of Hungary. The Liberation Monument, as it was officially called, was erected in 1947, originally in remembrance of what was then referred to as the Soviet Liberation of Hungary, which ended the occupation by the Nazi Germany during the Second World War. The sculptor, Zygmunt Kishfalodish Drobel, was appointed by General Voroshilov, the Soviet chairman of the Allied Control Commission, who personally looked after the construction. Rumors had it that the statue of the genius was originally designed sitting on a propeller, and it was made for the memorial of Istvan Horthy, the son of the governor Miklos Horthy, a fighter pilot, who died in a flying accident in Russia in 1942. The sculptor always denied it, adding that in fact he got the inspiration of the genius during a walk in Budapest in 1945, when a young woman caught his sight. This young nurse called Elizabeth was then asked to be the model of the genius. At the time of its inauguration, the 26 meters tall pedestal was decorated with a huge Soviet coat of arms. Below that, on the top of the lower pedestal, stood a 6 meters tall statue of a Red Army soldier with a machine gun holding the Soviet flag. The inscription on the pedestal was also different. Back then the following text was written on it both in Hungarian and Russian. To the memory of the liberating Soviet heroes, the grateful Hungarian people, 1945. Another Soviet soldier stood at the back of the monument, where also the names of the fallen Red Army soldiers were engraved. It soon became clear that the Soviet liberation was in fact the occupation of Hungary, turning the country into a communist dictatorship that ultimately led to the revolt in 1956. During the revolt, the Soviet coat of arms and the statues of the Red Army soldiers were destroyed. However, unlike the giant statue of Stalin, which was toppled a few days earlier, the rebels were not able to remove the main statue of liberty. After the defeat of the revolt, the destructed statues were replaced by new ones. In the 1980s people rallied at beer opener, it decorated the back of the 10 forint coin, and the model of the statue was even taken on a space flight by the very first Hungarian spaceman Bertel and Farkash. In 1989 the dictatorship collapsed, and on the day the Russian troops left Hungary, the monument was covered by a white parachute, bidding a symbolic farewell to the ghost of communism. Political organizations had lengthy discussions whether to keep or remove the monument. The majority of local people did not support its removal, so it was decided to keep it with some modifications. In 1992 the Soviet symbols and inscriptions were removed, and the statues of the Red Army soldiers were relocated to Memento Park, where they can be viewed along with other 42 giant statues, once decorated the city during the communist dictatorship. Since these modifications have been made Budapest people began to call it Liberty Statue. In 2015 the city of Budapest launched its application to host the 2024 Olympic Games using Liberty Statue in its official logo.